Hi, I came to test some infrared photography. It's a nice weather, not too windy, and sun is shining from the clear sky, which is usually a good thing for infrared photography because the foliage on the uh, and the leaves which are green are going to be white and more sun the better and another thing is that this Haida infrared filter that I have blocks about 10 stops of light so I need a tripod to take the shots and uh, but let's go and see what kind of shots I will make can see the image is quite red on the screen but one great tip is to uh, set the uh, picture mode to monochrome you can see a lot better and also using manual focus it's a hell of a lot easier to to focus when you have the uh, focus picking turned on to make the picture and let's see how the picture come out with this And as you can see, the images were quite interesting looking and it needs to have a real clear skies and a lot of sun so that the infrared light reflects from the foliage and then you can get some really ghosty images. Certain things that you need, you need a tripod, you need the infrared filter or then there's also another possibility, get your camera fixed so that they make it infrared only, but that's... Uh, that's a little problematic in a way that, uh, that then it's only for infrared. If you use a filter, you can just use the camera as a regular camera otherwise. And uh, I have a Haida, as I mentioned, and it, it's not that expensive. It, it was like 50 euros, and I think it was, it's a pretty good deal. And it's, it's a lot of fun, a little different things to do. And then what helps is to, to put the camera to show the pictures on monochrome. If you're shooting raw, then no problem, you still have the color version, which is really red. And of course, those images need to be tweaked quite a bit in uh, Lightroom, but uh, that's in the next video. I will show you how to do that. But thanks for watching and bye for now.